Hello, welcome. Uh, we're back with part two of selecting guitars, and I'm also going to include mixing for this one um, because I don't know if I need to add anything else. Right now, the mix feels really empty, which is not a bad place to be. I'm just not used to that. Uh, and unless we're going for like a really like magic by Coldplay vibe, um, which we might we might be, but I mean that one that one fills out a lot. So, anyways. Uh, let's get into it. Here is Ableton. We have done some stuff with pretty much everything except the vocals. Uh, so that's great. You know, maybe I want these keys to sound a little more spacey, which means reverb. And I mean, I mean like legitimate space. So. Okay, well, that take was ruined by the blood drive. Blood bank calling me to ask for blood donations, uh, and I said I'm busy making a video for Jesus. Anyways, uh, we're currently listening through the track and doing some mixing, um, and I had just said I want the pianos to be a little bit more spacey. So uh, back into Ableton we go after that very rude phone call. Uh, when I said space, I mean literal space. I think there's a special reverb called space. Sizzle. So it's called Outer Space. I think it's actually like going to be really ridiculous. Uh, let's just turn it down, see how that sounds. You know, I don't hate it except for the fact that it's resonating the wrong way. So uh, I'm gonna do this thing where I use a cool plugin called Abbey Rhodes Chambers. Hooray, thank you, Waves. I'll oh, set this to Submaster. And I think there's a preset called Shimmery Piano somewhere. Piano Shimmer, hey. Uh, let's see how that sounds. That's nice, I like that. I'm actually gonna throw the guitar in there too, pretty heavily. Okay, why didn't I hear that? Oh, because I muted the... What a dummy. Yep, I like that. You traded heaven, heaven. Yep. Nice, okay, so now I'm just gonna turn down this palm muting business by a lot, uh, which I think I need to automate. So I'll just take this, this, turn it down by about that much. How much is that? Six decibels, perfect.
give that some audio back. Okay, super spacey. Digging it, digging it. Let's add the vocals in now. Um, okay, so things that I did that I probably wasn't talking about. Um, the rhythm, I added this. This is why I use the return, because as you can see up in the top right here, my CPU is going nuts because I'm doing that, and I'm also, you know, recording. So, which the recording isn't taking that much CPU. But anyways, plugins can get really resource intensive, especially reverb plugins, especially reverb modeling plugins like this, because it is modeling in real space. Um, so... Yeah, and then I have multiple instances of tuning going on. Could I have done some things to free it up? Yes, did I? No, whatever. Uh, anyways, so that's one reason that the return tracks help is because they help reduce CPU load because you only need one instance of the plugin. And then also everything plays together in that fake uh, simulated room, um, which is nice. So I added the rhythm guitar, rhythm bass guitar part to the Abbey Rhodes plugin. which is nice. Uh, and then obviously the electric guitar is up in there. And uh, did some things there. So I think I need to go over the keys and make sure that they are the loudness that I want. So, yep, sounds good. My heart beating, my all right, actually, you know, I said it sounds good. I'm just gonna give it six decibels. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay, so uh, that moment doesn't land like I want it to. It needs some type of transition, which is probably just gonna be another riser for now. Let's see. It's so rain. I touch the sky when my knees hit the ground. Actually, okay, instead of another riser there, I'm gonna take this impact, put it there. Let's see how that is. So then you get my knees hit the ground the sky, impact. When my knees hit the ground. Yes, except it sounds bad. So maybe more like this. The sky, when my knees hit the ground. Mm. Okay, Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so let's put this EQ on the riser. So I still like that, I think. And then do a similar EQ for the impact, but not quite as low end reducing. Actually, you know what? I could do a big old scoop here. Maybe something like this. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. It feels like a... Yep, okay, so now set that back to zero. That down to minus 12. And this to like minus 15. What if I add a low pass? Make it really loud. Uh, 
Uh, okay, and then I actually need to add probably some low end oomph so I can feel it. Maybe right there at 64. A little higher, like 80. Just make it this whole range. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we got our little riser comes in. Okay, nice. So we're starting to lose some of the vocals, uh, which is normal when you kind of get to this point. It's fine. Um, so in the chorus. My heart beating, my soul breathing. I found my life when I laid it down. Upward falling, spirit soaring. I touched the sky. Okay, so right there, I want it to pop up. Uh -huh. Hit the ground. Nice. Okay, so in that moment, I want things to actually be a little less uh, spacey. So I'm gonna take this guy, bring it down just a little bit, like that. Okay, up just a little bit, because now our mix is getting a little more full. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to talk about this. Guys, okay, sibilance. Take those S's away. Boom. Right after the compressor. It's actually probably too much. Okay, right there, you traded heaven to have me again. Probably there, bump it again because you're going back into a chorus. Right there, and then actually way up. Okay, 
So now I'm actually going to cut more of Stephanie's vocal to see how that sounds there. Have me again. Okay, so now I can hear her better, but do I like that in the beginning? See, I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna automate this parameter to not kick on until here. Nice. Okay. And then in this moment, I'm going to drop everything back down because I want to save some headroom. And I think I'm going to reintroduce some of that drum room right here. So we go back into space. Okay, this can be maybe a little bit louder. Specifically this section. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Like there. This can be quieter. Get out of here, guitars. Maybe like a lot, like minus 18. Okay. Also gonna turn down the Abbey Road send. Send less of that. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's see if that's any good. So I'm boosting the piano in this interlude because there is a, a build that needs to happen, but there's not a transitional moment in the piano part itself, so let's see. Oh, heard something wrong with the tuning there, so I'm just gonna fix that right quick. Oh, jeez, yeah, how did I miss that? Cut, cut, that, that. Great, no transition. Transition. Pitch landing. On the wings of forever. Nice. And then Emily crashes in. Uh, so I need a riser. 
here. Alright, nice. So again, sibilance for Emily. Female vocals. Doink. Doink. Okay. EQ vocals. You know, I'm actually going to take a break. Because we're most of the way through this. This is going to be a longer one. But uh, So things that I have left to do. I need to EQ Emily's vocals. Uh, make sure the levels are good, and then bounce it all. Uh, so we're almost done with this, which is pretty great. Um, I think. Unless I'm like, ugh, I need to add something. But I'm pretty happy with where this is for the moment. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to take a break, and then when we come back, we will jump into some vocals and mastering and all that stuff. <laughs> 